fight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. Now listen to the modern entertainment move. The little Archangel Uria. A fight boss here to pay our God duties and motherfucking responsibility. Hey, you know what? I think it's what it'd be like. Yeah, that nigga on some other shit. Because it would be smoking. And, you know, I sit back and think about it like. Maybe y'all need to be smoking without smoking. You see what I'm saying? Because when you hit this, it make you think. It make it make you do things like shit. Let me go back to these astrological dates and let me see what was happening. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Y'all niggas go search for everything else. Y'all go search for y'all own natal charts. Y'all go search for days, see what's gonna happen in the future. But y'all, but y'all don't be looking at history. And going back to these dates <laughs> and seeing what kind of energies was going on in these dates. <laughs> and then you will see, because you're not there in person, but you will see as you don't have to be there in person because you understand the energy vibration of what was going on in that day. And if you into astrology in any kind of way, then you understand energy vibrations of what's going on throughout the day. So when you take yourself and go back to one of these old dates in history, you see the in you understand the energies that was going on that day. So you don't actually have to be there, but you know the energetic influences was going there. Based upon what? 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 The planets. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is crazy. See. People got a misunderstanding with themselves. And I don't understand why. Now. This is like this little simple shit. You can know what energies was going on. What was happening. Also, you gotta think about this. <coughs> Sorry about that. But, I have to pause it real quick. But, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like the whole, the whole point of this shit, you gotta really look at it. The whole point of this shit is, What's the whole point of you knowing your alignments or knowing what's the alignments going on throughout the day, throughout the planets, right? What's the whole point of knowing that? To override it. To not let it over influence you. So you don't get overtaken by the energies. Ain't that the point? I mean, like, really think about it. Really think about it. When you sitting back, looking at the events that's going on based upon the NATO, based upon what's going on, and then when you look at your own NATO reading, you see what's going on. What's the purpose of it? To know how to override the energies. What energies are you overriding? The planets. Why is it the planets? Because that's what astrology is based on. So, in so many ways, shape, and form, what I'm telling you, you already been doing. So why fight me? You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying I, I was a star. I, we're all becoming stars for no reason. I'm not dull little pilot man for no reason. I'm not sitting here saying shit to, to cause to cause grief in the world and things of that nature. I'm telling you what it really. I'm telling you what it is. I'm telling you what you doing every day. See what I'm saying? Your whole purpose of even knowing anything about what's going on with the planets is all boils down to a a, a being. Wanting to know these things because it gives them the ability to override these energies. Why do you need to override the energies then? If, if the energies ain't playing a certain characteristics. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't playing out certain characters. Because we'll tell you every day. Anybody who just out here just being overtaken by energies. Get be looked at as crazy. So I'm here telling you logically from a star brain itself. See what I'm saying? But it's it's far out to you. It doesn't make any sense to you. And I understand why it don't make sense to you. But I don't want to go down to that nature. I just want to I want to bring everybody up first so they can see it, see this world. Then when they come back down, they understand it won't be nothing to argue. It won't be nothing to not understand. It won't be nothing that's hard to get. It won't be nothing that seems out the box or far out. It'll be like, oh, damn, duh, this is what the fuck we doing anyway. You got, you act like kid spirits. You, you, your spirits are still childlike. Your, your spirits ain't even developed 
ain't even adult yet consciously to inhabit a star body. This is what I'm trying to tell you the whole time. You see what I'm saying? So, so to reject to reject me is only putting yourself in Dalmatia. I don't care what you want. I don't care how you think I'm coming based upon how I look or what kind of language I'm using. I don't deal with language. I don't deal with none of that shit. So I come here and my spirit utilizes it the best way it can. But you can't say it doesn't make sense regardless of what language you use or whatever. You see what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get you an understanding. How you understand this shit logically. You can go back to it. You want to talk about slaves. You want to talk about when Jesus was born or whatever like that. Shit, go. If you went to astrology, go on a motherfucking astrology site and go, go type in that motherfucking date and see the energetic forces that were going on on the motherfucking day. You see what I'm saying? The whole. And then you would know that it's the planets playing out these roles. So people, humans, who play out certain roles the best way, that means they channel that planet or that sun the way that planet want to be channeled. So the channeling happens. Whatever you're channeling, channel you also. So you're able to receive the benefits and pleasures. So you can say a person who kill a lot of people is wrong. But if they know how to kill a lot of people real good, they may get away with it faster than someone who really don't know how to kill somebody. They just kill somebody based upon whatever realm of reality, light and illusion they was up under in the life they was living. But you have a real serial killer who know how to kill somebody, right? They will escape any type of illusion in this reality longer than others. Any type of jail illusion. You know why? Because they would, they'll would probably be channeling Pluto or channeling Mars better. So the channel, they receive all the benefits and pleasures out of that kind of energy. You get what I'm saying? So if I was to make a video and tell you that Mars evil, I don't need nobody making a video about me telling me, oh, now we can't look at Mars and now we don't. Because you're not understanding it from my realm of reality. When I say when I'm in the sixth, seventh, eighth dimension, that's where most of my videos be at. So I'm telling you how things is playing out of as I'm looking face to face to these things. This is why this is why I'm an astrologer and I didn't have to learn astrology. I just naturally knew it. Because while y'all busy reading books and learning and learning what other people have learned from it, I understand the conscious awareness of if I was one of these things face to face. So it's nothing for me to come down here and explain Mars. So anytime I explain any planets you can't say I'm wrong, and I'm pretty much any other astrologer who get on my page will be like, well, he's not wrong. But see, my knowledge of where I got the planets is not from no book or nothing like that. It's just natural energy. That's what you have to understand. You don't have to understand what something means. You have to understand whatever was meant, how did it come to the conclusion of, of meaning that in the first place. But once you understand that, you see all the meanings, all the, the true branches from that one tree. And a lot of times I'll be speaking from the root and y'all be on a branch listening. So you only receive it from the location of where that branch is at relative to all the other branches and leaves. So when I'm speaking from the root, I'm speaking from a place of where it all makes sense. And you're going to be coming at me from a place where a separateness how it don't make sense. See, you see what I'm saying? I'm giving, I'm giving you, nigga, Sagittarius A knowledge right now, nigga. Black hole knowledge, nigga. <laughs> Gotta understand that shit. But, um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when you get into astrology, when you get into the planet, what's the first, the, what's your whole purpose? To learn how to, to know the energies so you can override it. Right? But let's look at now, let's get back to a higher dimensional so you can understand how my brain works a little bit. What are you doing when you are putting into putting in the action of actually motherfucking overriding something? What is overriding? Overcoming. Opposing. Understand some, understanding something so you can get over it. 
a form of wisdom, a form of knowledge and experience. That's what it all boils down to, right? Overriding. So basically, to know your chart and to know today's energies is what's going on, you learn that so you can know what's going on. So you can either be prepared or override it or not let none of these energies overtake you to play any part. But then you have to ask yourself, what energies is you doing that to? The planets. <laughs> the sun. So when I make videos and want to say the sun is evil, and if I want to wake up tomorrow and say the sun is good, now you can understand where I'm coming from. You see what I'm saying? And you can take yourself out of the 3D aspect of it, the 3D nature of it, because that's all it is. Just still people confuse the muscle right and left brain and can't take themselves out of the 3D aspect of things, no matter how conscious they were. Like I said, consciousness. Consciousness is just a form of action. So when a person say you need to hype, you need to risen your, you need to rise your consciousness. That's just rising your actions in another dimension. Consciousness is being able to be aware of the other dimensions, other the nine dimensions, and not just being able to be aware of the third dimension you in. But to be aware is just to be aware. That's the real thing. But to be consciously aware is to be conscious. We know con is a form of like con artist or a form of an illusion or a form of um conning someone you know what i'm saying like telling someone something for for something else then when you say you, you, you get what i'm saying anything that's attached to con is going to have that frequency to it i don't care what it is we can break it down but that's what consciousness is you know what i'm saying then shis that's like a a part of something so that's like being or or a whole of something the shits, the I-O-U-S. You know what I'm saying? That's like the totality of something. You can, you can look it in a dictionary. I bet you I ain't wrong. So when you put it together, conscious, it's a it's a, a whole level of an illusion, a whole level of con. You see what I'm saying? So conscious is this being aware of an action. Being a, And if, if you are aware of a lie, being, being conscious is just an action. Being aware of you see what I'm saying? Being aware of a lie or being aware of a con. So the more conscious aware a person is, is the more they are aware of an illusion or something. Or the more they are aware of something that appear one way that it may be another. You, you see what I'm saying? You can't ring around it. So when you look at me, I can sit here and tell you. I didn't even have to look in a dictionary to tell you that. But I bet you if you look in a dictionary, it means the same fucking shit I'm saying. I'll bet you. You see what I'm saying? When you, when you understand the root of something, I'm, I'm just giving y'all examples just due to expression right now. This is truly star consciousness. When you know the root of something, you know the tree branches. It doesn't matter what, bran what branch is at. You see what I'm saying? Now, conscious is this a, a, a action. It's the action of being aware. That's what conscious is. So the more consciously aware you, you is, the more you're aware of the actions that's going around you. It's just a lot of people being aware of the lies that's going around them right now. So you have a lot of people who are really consciously aware in just the reality that they in. So I don't care how conscious aware you is, your conscious awareness only relies. I, I'm I'm aware of your conscious awareness. You see what I'm saying? Because it's just an action. So the highest, the higher your conscious is, is really just the higher your action of thought is. That's what conscious is. The higher the the higher you see what I'm saying? The higher you are aware of things, the higher the dimension you can perceive. That's consciousness. But a lot of y'all take y'all consciousness and only choose to be aware of the realm of reality you in. Only choose to be consciously aware of the physical body you in. Only choose to be consciously aware. You see what I'm saying? Of just the existence that you actually deal with in front of you. And then when I come try to make you aware of an existence that you may not have been yet because you ain't been there yet if you can't perceive it. You know what I'm saying? But you want to start to get... The whole point is getting consciously aware so you can get there. See, you have young spirits. All y'all is really like young spirits. And y'all souls have to do a lot more years of experience before y'all can develop enough source light to, to be able to inhabit a bigger vessel to, to understand that world of what I'm talking about and present to y'all. 
You see what I'm saying? And due to y'all confusion, and due to y'all not understanding, and due to y'all debating, and, and due to y'all arguing amongst each other, that's all really good. To, at a, as a totality of things, how I look at it, that's all good. That's that's y'all forms of ways of coming together to figure it out. And due, and due to all those experiences, you will start coming to the conclusions that I'm kicking out. See what I'm saying? But that's how it works. I ain't telling you no lie. It might take y'all a few hundred more years, but all that's good. It might it might take y'all watching my videos and highly disagreeing and shit like that. That's what it takes. It takes that experience. These days of experience gonna turn into years of experience, gonna turn into decades of experience. And then y'all would then y'all start understanding. Then when y'all get there, I will have a I will have a form there taking y'all to the next level. And then it's gonna be the same thing because it was whatever y'all doing now, you've always been doing. It. See what I'm saying? So the same. So what you've been doing now, you getting help. It's all at a look. Archangel Uriel, as a totality of things, you are still coming together to me at, with all the arguing, even as we disagree with me. And then because you hear me, you see me, and you are aware of an existence of the little pilot man now. So boom, now all that is good. So that's all good. We all come going together. So when you so when you get there too, I'm gonna have another form there. And it's gonna be the same situation right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this this that to, the form of you even are aware of me now. It's all to the good. All to the motherfucking good. But you know, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all niggas need to smoke the fuck up smoke. See what I'm saying? Get, get the real meditating going. Because a lot of y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all still think. Meditating deals with thinking, so you go, you go, you go to meditate to ponder over your, to ponder over your thoughts. That's not even how you meditate. <laughs> when you meditate, you're supposed to use that chance to stop thinking. See, a lot of y'all use y'all brains for things that, for things that your brain wasn't made for. Your brain is not made to analyze and create what's there to come in the future. A lot of y'all going, y'all going to meditate and ponder over a thought. You ponder over a light, a source, a realm of reality, an illusion. Then you start, you start getting all the thoughts and ideas of all the beings that was vibrating on that frequency that you're pondering on. And, and if you're meditating and doing that, oh, you catching a wide range, a wide range of thoughts and ideas. So you probably think you, you probably think you meditating. You probably think you doing the shit. All alone, you probably getting, you probably just inhabiting and opening certain stargates to to be used as a vessel by a bigger being. <laughs> say, by by a being by a being that's got way more. You know what I'm saying? Like, but y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get that. Y'all don't get that kind of shit. though. Y'all don't get that kind of shit. So, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to use that time to clear your thoughts. You know what I'm saying, clear your emotions and feelings. And, and get into pure resistant mode to the point that any kind of thought come, you resist that shit. Any kind of feeling come, you resist that shit. And through those orbs, make the make your own big enough orb that the the thoughts and the feelings you develop by resisting the ones that you was catching actually become your currency, actually become your flow, actually become your source that you emit out in the, in the universe so it can be pushed out and gain traction by a lot of shit in the astral plane. Astral plane. They want to do that 360 and come back to you. You receive all them benefits and fruits and labors of that shit. Y'all don't get that. Y'all don't get that, though. Y'all don't get that, though. Y'all think I'm talking nonsense, though. Man. That's what's up. But, you know what I'm saying? We all here as one. You know what I'm saying? We all here to do what the fuck we gotta do. And I'm just here to give you the knowledge of the stars. You know what I'm saying? So for you, for you to disagree with any kind of way that I give knowledge of the stars, that's your fault. You gotta get mad at yourself. You gotta get mad at, you gotta get mad at your religion. You gotta, you gotta get mad at, at your thoughts and ideas. So you gotta get mad, you gotta get mad at your being. You know you can't get mad at me. You know what I'm saying? Because once you get mad at yourself and get mad at your religions and shit, then you're gonna start to get mad at the, the people, places, and things that gave that to you. Then once you get past that, <laughs> you're gonna start getting mad at at something else. <laughs> then once you pass that, you're gonna be right back here like, oh, I know what I'm supposed to look at now. <laughs> You've been saying that for the last 1400 videos.
You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to come back to the same conclusion. Oh, this is the point to know astronomy and astrology because now that I know these energies, I know what energies I need to override. <laughs> you're going to come back to that conclusion. Why? You're going to come back to that conclusion. Then it's going to be back to learning about the planets and the stars. And it's just like an animal. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, that's another video. I ain't going to get into all that. But the better you can consciously be aware of something, you can take that vessel. This is how certain animals reincarnate into humans. You know what I'm saying? Certain humans only want to choose to be consciously aware of specific things on Earth or specific type of concepts. So that's what they come back in, in those forms. A lot of animals, people, a lot of humans come back into animals. All kind of spooky shit. I ain't coming back with none of that shit. And if you understand what I'm saying, you won't either. Nigga, I created Hinduism, nigga. <laughs> all that shit, nigga. I was here before all that shit, nigga. You talk about whatever, Hinduism, nigga, the Fabasiism, nigga, uh, Kemet, all that shit. <laughs> I was here before all that shit. Y'all, y'all putting lineage. On y'all mind, putting lenience on y'all science. I was here before that shit, nigga. Cause they would go back and look at what they was talking about. When they talk about the planets and the stars and shit, <laughs> nigga, we was here. We was here before all that shit. Me and my soul group, nigga, we was here before all that shit. That shit was talking about us, and we just coming down here now, letting y'all know what it is. Nigga, don't fight it, <laughs> like boss bitch. <laughs>